Hello and welcome, my name is Papa Sean, this is Medieval Dynasty, and today we are farmers. And if you're just getting started in farming and looking at what to do, uh, what you want to do is find a nice flat piece of ground, alright, and then you're going to push the Q key. You're going to go to the buildings on the left hand side of the radial dial, up towards the top is going to be farming. You're going to have your choice between fields or orchards. If you click a field uh, in orchard, you're going to get these little sticks. You're staking out where you want your farm to be. And you can make it a small farm or a large farm based on the land you have and how many things you So right, this is a one by one. You can click and hold that down and drag and now you got a two by two. Or you can make a three by three. Or you can even go narrow and just have a one by five, things like that. So you can go ahead and select what you want that to be. Next thing you want to make sure you have a, a hoe, and you can get that with the hand crafting. A hoe requires one log and some sticks, five sticks. When you have that log in your uh, that <laughs> hoe in your hand, you're gonna come up to the area of the field where it says not grubbed. Now you're just gonna left click, and now you're just digging up that that land there, right? And you can just hold that down as you walk to quickly grub up a lot of territory. Next thing you're gonna need is a bag, and you can get bags again through hand crafting. Bag requires three leather. Once you have a bag in your hand, you're going to want to be able to apply some fertilizer. It'll also tell you, uh, let me go back to there, there's orchard and field again on the left hand side if you're going to do the field. So in here you've got some random seeds that you can place down in there, but you also want to fertilize. Alright, so fertilizer, you're going to basically use that bag and put fertilizer in the bag, and then you're going to left click, and again you can walk and just keep applying this. Once you've fertilized that grubbed up territory, you want to bust out your hoe again, and you're going to dig that into the ground here. And again, you can hold that down as you walk. And now that you've got those fertilized areas, now you can apply the seed. All right, again, you're going to take out your bag, you're going to go to field, and now you're going to select the seed that you want to plant. Now note that some of the, as you hover over, it tells you that spring to autumn, you can do oat and grain. Wheat and uh, grain can be spring and autumn, and autumn, and autumn to summer. Uh, we've got poppy seed, spring to autumn, onion, spring to summer, beetroot, spring to autumn, cabbage is spring to summer, and carrot is spring to autumn and winter to summer. So with that, we've got some cabbage seeds. If we select those and then stand over the territory that we want to throw down the seeds, it'll apply them. Again, we can just walk with those seeds in hand, and now we've seeded those fertilized and plowed areas. Uh, as the seasons progress, you'll see the crops growing. Some grow a lot faster than others, like cabbage, you can get two harvest seasons in, as an example. And so hopefully this helps you guys as you uh, plan out your crops. If you need to get seeds, uh, hopefully you built your town not too far from Gustovia, because Gustovia is excellent for providing a lot of the early game stuff, so seeds included. So if you go over to Gustovia, you can purchase some seed. Uh, there's also some manure over there in order to get the fertilizer. Once you have your barn, your barn is going to have the, uh, the different work areas that you are required to create that uh, either the the rot or the manure turning that into fertilizer that you can use on your crops. They'll also have areas where you can uh, beat the, the wheat into flour. If this has been helpful please like and subscribe and until next time happy questing.